original motivation was to refine and improve the theoretical tools that are available to experimenters in particle physics. The experimenters are using tools like the Large Hadron Collider uh, at CERN, the LHC, which collides beams of protons. They're using it as essentially a very powerful microscope to study matter at the shortest distances that uh, we can. And our work was in developing new and much more efficient methods for doing the theoretical calculations in a theory called uh, quantum chromodynamics, which describes the bulk of what you see in the detectors at the LHC, refining th these, developing these new methods that allow us to do much, many more calculations and to much higher precision than uh, was possible before. And it's also uh, allowed a new generation of uh, researchers to build on that and not only continue to develop new techniques and new calculations for the LHC, but also to make uh, connections to many other uh, branches of physics and also frontier areas of uh, mathematics and also reveal very intriguing connections between theories like quantum chromodynamics and uh, gravity. So today I'm uh, continuing to do some work which is uh, related to the Large uh, Hadron Collider, but I've also embarked um, in the last five years uh, on a new adventure which uh, amusingly is following in a sense, in the footsteps of the 2021 winners of the GGI medal. And that's trying to apply these ideas from scattering amplitudes, from quantum scattering amplitudes, to the problem of making predictions in uh, gravitational waves. So these days, it can be quite a challenge to embark on a scientific career. There's a lot of very talented people who start graduate school, who go out of graduate school into postdocs, who go out of postdocs into faculty positions. But I think that if you have the passion and uh, you have the interest and of course you have the talent, then it's it's possible. You will have to make sacrifices in, in many ways, but if if you carry that passion and you carry that, that's the combination of believing in what you're doing and also being a self-skeptic, being really your own hardest critic, if you can carry off that balance and, and marry it with passion, then there are going to be a lot of exciting things to do, and not only in, in areas of particle physics or gravitational waves, which I'm closest to, but in many other areas of science. And I think it's also important to keep uh, an open mind in, in choosing the direction in which you go. Always choose the direction of excitement. <laughs>